All right, so I uh, immediately hopped into the nether after uh, last episode and climbed all the way down to my the bottom of my uh, mining shaft here. And uh, I'm going to use the trapdoor method of uh, putting myself into a crouching mode. This is layer 15. And uh, F3 and G shows chunk borders, so I'm going to use a certain method. Here we go. So this is the edge of a, of a chunk. I, see, I can show it better this way. Yeah, okay. So this is the corner of a chunk. This is the corner of a chunk over here. Just because I have limited pickaxe power and... Um, I don't have I don't have explosives, so my ability to um, you know make use of that is limited. Cool, got some more. Fill all of that in. Quartz. Yes, please. Stay in the crouched prone position. And so you outline the chunk doing this method, and then. Oh, here's blackstone. Free blackstone, I'll take it. But uh, anyway, and so once you've done that, you bisect the chunk, which means to cut it in half. However, uh, my entrance tunnel seems to have done just that already. So the next thing to do would be to bisect it again, but in the uh, opposite direction. This is to save on pickaxe durability, in all honesty. Just because there's uh, so much netherrack you have to uncover. But... Uh, no good way of uh, getting rid of it all, short of explosives. Unfortunately, I don't have another sheep, so I can't uh, can't manufacture beds. Well, I do have one sheep, but that would take forever. Eight. So on average, on layer 15 here, this is where the most netherite typically spawns. So using this method, I'm going to outline two chunks at once. Myself low. And I'm gonna get whatever I get, I guess. I've already gotten one piece of ancient debris from a uh, that bastion. It's just lying in the chest, but um, short of going and raiding a bunch of other bastions, which is really difficult without Elytra, because I'd have to go on a go on strider back or something to hopefully find another one yeah I did say I'd get a strider at some point haha -ha. first piece found legitimately Don't seem to be any other pieces. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about, how it'll it'll generate and make a... Uh... So that was actually in this chunk here. I mean, there's only one chance to populate per chunk. 
So uh, kind of ends up being that if you find one piece in one chunk, that means there's no point in mining this chunk in this chunk here because I found that that one population and that population happened to go for two pieces of ore and it can go anywhere from zero to four which means uh, even though I didn't hit anything in this chunk I mean it could be somewhere higher or lower than this one but it could just also be that this chunk got hit and it rolled a zero and there's just nothing else to find because there just isn't going to be anything in that chunk it's already it hit its its chance as it were so four six eight but i have yet to hit it in this chunk so maybe i will i find that outlining a chunk on the borders tends to get you the most results a lot of chunk uh populations will land in one chunk and then carry over to another, although this one was obviously isolated entirely in this chunk. But it's not uncommon to see population attempts hit other chunks. Two, four, six, eight. This one right here. All right, so this this chunk ended up empty, or well, not as ideal, I should say. There's very likely still stuff here. I just haven't found it yet. Yeah. Whoa! Not no, 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 yeah. Oh, there's a block here. Oh, fucking ghost blocks are back. I hate that feature. Well, it's not a feature per se, but it feels like a feature. They should um, add on to the, the title screen another uh, splash text that says... Uh, ghost blocks are now a feature or some shit like that. A tongue-in-cheek way of saying, uh, yeah, sorry we couldn't fully patch ghost blocks. Because I swear to God, it seems like every time they try to patch them, they succeed for a while and then they come back somehow. It's really annoying. You know, I could probably even completely mine out the uh, entire section. Uh, this entire plane, rather. And still end up not hitting it per chunk. Because I think layer 15 is only a, uh, an average. And uh, the problem with averages is it's hard to apply averages to individual situations. Everybody always wants to do that, but that's kind of a logical fallacy of sorts. I really like how netherite looks in its its texture it gives me this sort of a sort of like you found an ancient artifact I guess that's probably what they were going for now that I think about it six eight here we go 
Haha. No? Aha, gravel. That stuff's worth gold. Worth its weight in gold now. Uh, oh. oh well. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. Gimme, gimme. And I can sell flint to, uh, I believe it's the weaponsmith. And I think you can sell it to Fletchers, too. I haven't gotten any Fletchers yet. They'll sell uh, potion-tipped arrows. I forgot. That's that's useful. I don't have Dragon's Breath. That's something I've been meaning to get a hold of. And while I'm here, I may as well mine out this pocket of Blackstone, just because why not? I've got to go back and get my uh, trap doors so that I can go back into uh, crouch mode. Or uh, prone mode, I guess. They really need to add a button to do that on command. Sort of like in PUBG and other games. Just because, you know, why not? It's a useful thing. It's obviously a feature. It's something Mojang doesn't mind us using. It's been in the game for like three versions now. It just makes sense to have a prone button. Because we have a crouch button. Why not a prone button? Although I don't know what key you'd use for that. Maybe uh, X or Alt or something. Something to that effect. Oh, yeah. Really makes me wish we could brew haste potions. This would, uh, this would go so much quicker. Because an efficiency 5 diamond tool with, uh, haste 2 would allow me to insta-mine all this blackstone. At least I think it's equal to stone. Pretty sure. I think. I could be wrong on that. Got about four stacks. Not too shabby. Hmm. Only one piece. Hate that. There we go. Now I can finally get back under... Hmm. Well, the good news is I left a trail. So I can go back to where I was pretty easily. Uh, that's right, I was in the middle of bisecting this chunk. Oh, that's right. Well, then that means I found 
all there is to find in this area. Time to move on to the next one. I just hope I don't run into lava pockets. Fucking things are everywhere. And I don't mean the tiny pocket that I just ran into. I mean like a huge dome-shaped structure that's just filled with lava. Those are very common now, especially at bedrock. And then the really annoying bits are the, uh, the ravines that go up into the ceiling, and they can go all the way up to almost the bedrock in the ceiling. So if you're making a tunnel, be it at like layer 5 or all the way up at, what's it, like 124? You know, if you're digging another highway or something, just the sheer amount of uh, accidental deaths you can have. I mean, it, Old Nether was like not 100% safe, even at, you know, almost ceiling level. But it's actually way worse now. Because you have literal ravines that can generate and scar everything all the way up to about bedrock. So yeah, I very nearly fell off a bunch of times uh, in my single player world to my death thinking that I was make I was being clever and that I was, you know, tunneling over the bullshit new nether things that would get in the way and so on and it uh, just seemed like, you know, it was impossible to get more than 200 blocks out before you run into another ravine. And they're usually in nether wastes and the basalt valleys. Those biomes tend to be the worst when it comes to uh, running into just crappy generation. You know, come to think of it, I guess I don't have to use two trapdoors. But, uh, it made two trapdoors, so I may as well use them. Why not? Two, three, four, five. And the new music is great, too. It adds this sort of a lonely atmosphere to everything, like, like if you die here, you, you'll you just, you'll go missing and nobody will ever know what happened to you, because this crazy hell dimension doesn't let anything just go. Everything here bears a grudge against you. You gotta really appreciate and admire music that can give such a lonely feeling off, because that's, that's the most difficult feeling to capture, is true isolation and loneliness through music alone, and I can literally count on one hand that's of a one-hand video games that have been able to do that. So the, the nether music they hear, they've, they've really done a top-notch job on it. Aha! More absolute gold. Oh, I was hoping that was another right vein. Even though I'm after another right, I've got to remember to get luckier and get more more gravel. 
since that's what I'm truly after. Aha! Another piece of netherite. That should be, what, four? Yeah. Let's hope there's more than one. Okay, so that's one tool. Because you have to have four plus four gold ingots just to be able to uh, make a single netherite ingot. And then that gives you a single item. I guess it's my pick. Yeah, probably my pick. There we go. See now, so that was this chunk next to me. Damn it. You know, I wish silk touching would uh, not make the pigmen angry at you, or the piglins. I'm still still in the habit of calling them pigmen, but uh, sadly, that is not the case. They will still get very mad at you just for touching the stuff. In fact, it kind of doesn't make sense how piglins are able to just know that you've mined gold in the vicinity simply because, like, I could be, I think they have some sort of a, a range that they'll uh, they'll check, if, and if you're within that range and you mine, you know, anything golden, it'll automatically aggro them, but, like, that doesn't make sense in some instances, because what if I'm through, like, a five-block thick wall? And I mine a piece of gilded blackstone. Like, how do they know that I did that, though? It doesn't make sense for them to just magically be aware of my my gold digging tendencies. I just eh feel like I feel like it should maybe be line of sight or something, as opposed to uh, psychic ESP or whatever game shit they use. Whatever the code actually says they're supposed to do. But oh well. So, by the time I come back from all this, I should have enough netherite junk. Probably for every item and tool I own. Including the uh, the hose, definitely want to get uh, iron hose or a uh, netherite hose. There we go. toss out this nether rack because it's useless. Okay. Alright. I will catch y'all next time.